Um, so if I just drop into the software, uh, so I've, I've got Revit, and this is the very, very simple uh, example that I'm going to show. So I'm just going to pick a, just a basic slab. Okay, so I've got a really detailed, attractive uh, model of one slab. And now I go to the add-in uh, to publish the Vico Office. You see that I've set up a project eco office just called Simple Example. So I'm going to publish the model to that project. And we've got workflow panels in uh, Vico Office, depending on the task we're doing at the time. Um, manage models is um, you're probably going to use it in a lot of the different modules. So I've got cost planner here at the moment, uh, but it can be any of, any of these different uh, modules. So I'm just going to keep with cost planner and go to manage models. And this is where if we've got different models from different sources, we join them all together in here and we um, activate the models and we create takeoff items. So we can choose how we want to create the names of the takeoff items by using some of the properties from the CAD model. So this is uh, this is Revit. Uh, so I'm just going to use family type. And then if you know if it's Archicad, you could choose layers. So you can choose how your takeoff is going to look. So then I activate that and it creates the quantities. And here I have the result of um, my beautiful model and my modeling skills. So when we've got that part, then we can go to the takeoff. And I can I can see the slab here and I can look at it and I can investigate the different quantities that we have. So we we know it's a, a slab, we've taken that information from the CAD, uh, but then we run our own algorithms um, to come up with the quantities. We know that um, a lot of quantities which you can get from CAD systems although can be useful, are not always correct. <clears throat> and the, uh, another thing with them is that they don't always suit estimating. So if we take the column as an example, um, for estimating purposes for formwork and finishes, you probably only want the vertical surface area of the column. Some CAD platforms, if you ask for the surface area, it'll give you the top and bottom, so you'll get all six sides which isn't going to be useful when you just want to price the, uh, the formwork or the finish. So we run our own algorithms and we create what we call construction calendar quantities. And I can review these. Um, so if I select the top surface area, it's highlighted, and then the edge surface area. And you'll notice that um, this turns my icon turns to a paintbrush. So I can unassign these edges or any of the quantities. So if we get a model from um, the designers which maybe they've um, modeled something using the wrong family or they've put some, something on the wrong layer uh, or maybe you can use a, a, a different tool to what you're expecting, we can uh, have some flexibility and make adjustments to what we've been given uh, so that we're getting useful data to use in the estimate. Okay, so and you'd review your quantities and then we go to plan cost. Okay, so you know, as I said, we've got reference uh, references we can look into and go and find a slab that we've done elsewhere, um, all our historical data and data mine. I'm not going to do this in this example. I'm just going to create everything manually uh, so it, it's easy to follow. Um, so first, I'm just going to create a new component. And then I'm going to add some activities to this of how, how it's going to be constructed. Uh, so form work. Rebar and concrete. 
and then to them I'm just going to add some uh, resources as well. So now it's starting to build up uh, an assembly, uh, just obviously very simple and then once I've done that I'll go through and add the quantities I'm going to use um, that we've got from the, uh, the algorithms around. And some more labor on that one. Okay, so I've got uh, some basics there. I'll put some units in. Um, so for the complete slab assembly, uh, I'm just going to represent that. So I'm going to roll up everything so I can just view it um, by square foot. And then formwork will be square foot. And then the formwork carpenter, he's going to be measured in hours. And the rebar will be in ton. tons. And the concrete in cubes. Okay, so I've got the basic set up there. Now I'm going to all allocate some quantities. So as I said, for the um, actual top level assembly for the actual slab itself, uh, I'm just going to use the, uh, the top surface area. And then for the formwork, I'm going to use the edge surface area. So this list here, um, it's just the same list as we've just seen in Takeoff Manager. And if I wanted to, I could use some uh, Excel type functionality on here and uh, make a complete long formula. Uh, I'm just going to use this uh, the base data in this example. And then former materials, former carpenter. So now I've got the quantity of the edge surface area. Now I'm going to add a consumption for the carpenter. This is in hours per square foot of its uh, parent. So I'm just going to say that that's a quarter of an hour. With the rebar, I'm going to use um, the volume of the concrete of the slab. And then I'm going to say uh, that there are 0.1 tons per cube. So my resource level now, and I've got the actual um, tonnage that I need. Uh, rebar material, I can add waste, or etc. to that, or a consumption, but um, it's one ton per ton. And then the actual rod man, I don't know, I've put 15 hours in here per ton, which gives me a total number of hours. Uh, concrete. I just use the net volume again, so I'm just going to copy that from that item. So in the formula editor, put that in there. Okay, and I'll say it's an hour per meter cube, so that one's all okay. So basically, uh, albeit very simple, there's the estimate done. 